Are you sure you were broken? Are you sure you were open? Are you sure you were broken? Are you sure you were open? It's the best podcast you've ever heard. If it's not the best, then it's surely the third. In a very niche genre of two guys with a microphone. Are you sure you were broken? Are you sure you were open? Are you sure you were broken? Are you sure you were open for a podcast? Welcome to the world. I assure you were broken. I could speak in speak in this accent as well. His own rice tag. <laughs> firebombed his own <laughs> firebombed his own rice tag. He did. I can speak in this accent as well. Mm. Oh, Piers Morgan, Piers Morgan, Piers Morgan, Piers Morgan. How dare Ooh, you? Uh, before we start, Google Dolly Parton's tits. Dolly Parton's tits. Tits. Oh, it's on Pinterest. No way. Damn. God damn. Talks about a buxom, b- 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 bodacious babe. Playboy. Mm. You know, I like starting off strong, Zach. I like starting off... Uh, Fully erect. Yeah, I, I wish she had given me birth to me. <laughs> <laughs> I wish she would give birth to my di- dick. God, I hope she fucking breast breastfed her children. Be a shame. Be a real shame if she didn't. I wish I had uh, access to uh, my Instagram uh, reels. I, I save a lot of uh, funny videos, and sometimes on Twitter, sometimes on uh, Instagram, sometimes on not actually never on Facebook, but uh, you know. Um, there's a, there's, a, there's a big collection. I wish I could curate that somewhere and just make it a, into a, a list of things that were... You okay? Yeah. Okay. I just... You're not as loud as me. Am I not? Maybe no, I'm... No, yeah, you need to raise your mic up, though. It's not in your mouth. How is that? Is that better, Zach? Yeah, that's better. Great. Fantastic. Can everybody hear me okay? God damn. Look, Dude, at, that, look at that Elden Ring drip. You know what this is making me want to do? You <laughs> <laughs> This is making me want to get uh, Taco Bell again. So, oh, oh, uh, have you seen the uh, the uh, nine types of men? <clears throat> Which one are you, Zach? I think I'm an elk man. Where's the Where is the downward slope, though? Of uh, the coyote man, probably, or the pit bull man. But I've seen them long. Or bear man. But I've seen them long. Well, I think this is just about shapes. I think length and girth can can vary, but this is just about the general. You see, because this has like a straight and then like an up bend. This has like an overall down. You know what I mean? Mm. So that's why I think I'm an elk man. That's weird. I think I'm a pony man. Really? Yeah. I think so too, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, you got like a strong upward curve. Yep. With a nice bell end. Yep. Oh, dude. Hey, we should do... <laughs> that's a video we should do is measuring our penises so we can finally... Yeah, I think I think people would be surprised about uh, the girth. Oh, that's right, Alan Moore. Okay, so 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 I just wanted to say, like, we measure with string. Yeah, around the the circumference, right? Well, so I want to measure length because you know a lot of people put a ruler to and be like, oh, I'm the, I'm this, but you're really losing inches if you if you have, have a curve any at kind all. of curve. Yeah. yeah. So what you do is you take a string and you shape it to it, and then that's how you then you lay the string to a ruler, and that will tell you the actual length. Uh, I think that and girth, where we wrap it around, yeah. much like you measure a bicep. You're exactly. Like, I, yeah. think, I think I think that, think that would, makes sense to me. I think it would be a hilarious video. You want to? You want to? You want? You want to? Fill, you want to put it on camera? <laughs> or with just a podcast topic? Yeah, and then we can lie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if we fucking film I mean, it, then what? I, you know, even if we film it, it we they, could they're going to see me like pull my string out a little further. Yep. 19 inches just like i thought <laughs> or even if we film it i think we could still lie yeah i guess that's true we could always photoshop it to- <laughs> i was gonna say we're, we're gonna have it blurred anyways it's not like they're gonna be no oh i guess that's true yeah well, you know um look okay. we never have to cut the camera from like here is there anything <laughs> going on down here it's like i guess if a guy can get fucked in the ass on youtube we could measure our dicks off camera we don't even have to be fully fucking um nude Erect in real life. We just yeah. like, 
it's it's Let's a, do a bit uh, off of it. Yeah. Although I have been wanting to remeasure my penis. Um, my penis. I measured my dick since I was like 18, bro. I measure it probably like once a year just for funsies. I've never measured it with a string. I just I usually have a ruler nearby and, and like if I have an erection, I just go, hey, let's just check out the measurements. Yeah, but I've never measured it with, with a string, which will give you the true measurement. It'll actually give you, it'll make it bigger. What if I'm satisfied with the um, length, girth, and... Uh, erectness that mm. it uh, that it portrays with the straight ruler straight edge i don't know man full penis full penis okay alan moore alan moore everybody all right well there you go there's a bit of uh alan moore wisdom for you loony lift i just like his accent he's got a really interesting accent well excuse me not not you, just bollocks then subversive bollocks you're very scottish right now is that not what he is Oh, it's no, hang, hang on. No. <laughs> oh, he's he's like fucking he's a fucking Brit, right? He's just he's talking in bollocks and he's talking in fucking slight cockney accent. It's just a fucking Brit. Yeah. Oh, well, excuse me. Ooh. Oh, yeah. He's like right, it's right there. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you just fu- Oh, any anything that's not Anything that's left of Genghis Khan is is labeled subversive. Subversive, yeah. He's the fucking Beatles. He's the Beatles. Beatles. Much He's like the my fucking haircut Beatles. right now. Um, He's gonna fuck your mom. No. He's gonna fuck your mom. Please. She's such a bitch. What? He's gonna fuck your mom. No. So good. So right. Please stop. So good. So right. <laughs> nice dude. Fuck your mom. <laughs> Look at my quick picks for uh, new tabs. Right in the pussy. YouTube, Pornhub, X, X videos. <laughs> yeah. <SoundCloud. laughs> That's good. It's our research on the podcast. Sometimes Zach's like, Google that. And I'm like, Pornhub? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, whatever, dude. You, you know, know, it's fine. You can be a fucking pussy about it. Uh, yeah, it's more time there. I put on Pornhub, all right. You know, I uh, I don't remember my password for Facebook. Don't you hate that? Why the fuck do I have to put in my fucking goddamn password all the fucking time? I don't remember the fucking bullshit. Uh, are you challenging my style? <laughs> How do you like my stoil? <laughs> All right, it's a really good episode so far. It's really, really good. Uh, I must have dropped your camera. Those are my favorite videos. Uh, How do you get to your favorites? Um, how do you get to your favorites on Instagram? How do you get to the videos that you, that you... Ah, saved. There it is. Um, Yeah, pick up the dog shit. What's this one? Jesus fucking Christ. Holy shit, dicks. <laughs> I like him. Oh, he's a good lad. Oh, he's a good lad. He is. <laughs> I guess it's up for the quart to decide. Fred. <laughs> Just Fred. The, the realization. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Ah, uh, hell yeah, bro. So, man, what do you want to, like, uh, what do you want to, like, talk about, like, mm-hmm. oh, you want to do some harmonization? in the night by violent mercenaries, your identity's been confused by one that looks like you. Blood roll you dead. Blood roll you dead. I had a starting bit, but I forgot because we didn't fucking start recording, so it's over. 
It's over, dude. It's done. <laughs> it's over, bro. Well, uh, uh. New topic. Did you like that? No, I didn't like that. That was good. Nope. That's really loud. I should move this. Uh, I went down to the (laughs) Baja. I went down to the Baja. I've done things in Mexico you can't do in America. Like be in Mexico? Chupacabras. (laughs) (laughs) It's not just goats they're good for sucking. I mean, you could just move a chupacabra to the U.S. and then you could do a chupacabra in the U.S. They it's not die like immediately. They cross the, they, they recognize international <laughs> borders. They cross the border and say there's not enough refried beans. You got at least like 30 miles of refried beans where it's you know pretty much the same per capita as it is in Mexico. Mm, there's only no, there's no. real there's real Mexican. And there's fake Mexican. Can you give me? Uh, can you just give me like Jesse Ventura, like in denial? Just be, nope, mm-mm, no, <laughs> nope, mm-mm. that's nope. Not, yeah, no, not it is true. Nope. No, it is. Mm. Uh, excuse me, which one of us lives in Mexico? That's what I thought. <laughs> now, so chupacabra is Spanish for goat sucker, and uh, and Jesse Ventura is ju- Spanish for goat fucker. <laughs> No, right? no, no. They see it's not just goats the chupacabra sucks. Turns okay. out it's also uh, Jesse Ventura's cock. So, uh, do you have proof of this? Chupacabra means goat sucker. So, pinga cabra is my new. Uh, and what do you think? My ju- new guilty pleasure in the Baja. What do you What do you think a chupacabra would suck? Jesus. <laughs> no Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is alive. <laughs> I'm not really buying this whole Christ thing. <laughs> uh guys, again, if you if you aren't watching, you know, Jesse Ventura, if you aren't aren't watching South Park, what are you doing with your time? You know, like sometimes you uh you look at somebody and you go, What the fuck? Why 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 are you into that? Huh? You're just knitting yarn over there? Who the fuck has time to knit yarn? What are you, you, you know, how you, you, you're missing episodes of Family Guy. You fucking over there flicking fucking, your fucking needles dude, together? Fucking Ash just picked up crochet and I said, what the fuck? You're not even, you're not even 30 yet. <sighs> Is she autistic? You're not even 30 yet and you're picking up this fucking old lady hobby. Like, it, so. Like, Maybe it's ADHD. Well, you'd think she'd get a hobby where she could suck my dick while she fucking does it, but no. You know, be fucking crocheting requires all of her concentration. You know, I've uh, recently uh, been getting into this new uh, form of dick sucking with my wife. Yeah. It's where she sucks my dick from behind. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, push your wiener down between your legs and uh, yeah, she gets behind you. And you, you ever do a reverse 69 where you're on top? And then you get to dictate, like... Depth? <laughs> yeah, you're like, guess what? Hope this is hot for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you can take it. Just tap me on the, the ass if you can't breathe. And she's just immediately, like, slapping you on your ass. And you're like... Two more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hold your breath. <laughs> just hang on, baby. You're doing great. Uh, I don't know why I go into that voice for creepy sex stuff. I think it just feels right. You know what I mean? You have like certain voices just get associated with ideas in your head. Yeah, but isn't that where the fucking creepy sex stuff originated? Yeah, probably. I mean, come on! 
<laughs> Suck that dick. <laughs> you like the fucking salami, don't you? And you take it out and slap him in the face with it. Yep. Yeah. Well, you know, whatever. Don't play uh-huh. this. Don't play this one on. Don't play this one at school, folks. Don't play this one at work. All right. Don't let this. Don't let your counselors and your your summer school teachers and your uh, I don't know who fucking watches our videos. They don't. We don't have enough viewers to get like an age demographic. Well, like some grade schoolers like play this for the school <laughs> announcements. Dude, I don't know. Have you and seen what sit, grade schoolers are into? They're saying they like sit the, for the first R R. <laughs> they, they sit for the first hour. Uh, welcome to I assure you we're broken. <laughs> The teacher's like, shut the fuck up, this is a good episode. <laughs> These guys are funny. Uh, they just they just learned about glizzies. <laughs> <laughs> they do, they just learned about glopping on glizzies. These people are so old. Yeah, uh, you gotta stick out your gat for the Riz Lord, you know? My favorite thing to come out of all this new slang is the Rizzler, obviously, because it's hilarious, but... Um, I don't know what that is. Okay, well, <clears throat> here's a here's a little known fact. About Riz, it, it means like somebody who has uh, personality and charm and can and be be uh, you know charming to the ladies. But it comes from the word charisma. Are you just grinding your fucking nuts again? <laughs> like that's three podcasts in a row, dude. You had a yeast dude, infection? No, it's the st- I told you it's the stool. Is it athlete? You want to switch chairs? No, it's the stool. Okay. I've got a chair over there, Brandon. We're switching no, chairs. I like this stool. It's the stool. But it. Forces you to grind your sack in the middle of a fucking episode why every episode. A, why do you have a problem with that? I just in my periphery. I'm like looking, making eye contact with you, and then you're just like, <laughs> I do it once per episode where I scratch my balls, and you call it out every episode. It's funny. <laughs> He's just like pulling his dick out to the side. <laughs> nice cock. <laughs> What? What? Are you going to sue me? you going to go to HR, dude? Mine doesn't look good soft. Fucking good luck fucking proving that, dude. I don't Fuck, care. Dude, fucking good luck, bro. I don't care. HR can suck my balls. <laughs> don't say that. You'll get fired, dude. <laughs> dude, don't say that. No, you just can't say it to other coworkers. You can say it to HR. It's fine. HR. <laughs> you go to HR, you're like, I just really need to have a talk. You're like, yeah, what's going on? You're like, you can suck my balls. <laughs> they're they're like, like, what? Yeah, I can say that. And they're like, no, you can't. Like, <laughs> I could you- say it to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no. Yeah. Like, like, what do you mean? This is confidential I com- thought I could, conversation. I like, thought you were outside of the chain of command. But you said, do I have a problem with this place? Yeah, it's you. Suck my balls. It's Fuck the fact place. that my balls are so dry and that you're not sucking them. Suck my balls. Becca, who works in HR. See, I found the loophole. See, because Becca doesn't like the sex jokes, but if I just make every person in the joke her, it's like, oh, who's this uh, random streetwalker? It's, oh, it's Becca in character. She's playing a bit. Yeah. <laughs> she probably won't like that. <laughs> well, she told me today she's strength training, so I think she's going to fucking uh, train to dom you. She's training to beat my ass, that's for sure. Yeah. So, on that note, you know... Please remember to sub that sub, dom that like, and finish on the bell. Yeah, I'm, I'm still stronger than her. And, uh, well, you're a man, so women don't like to hear this, but uh, <laughs> we're we're always going to be stronger than them. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, they have that emotional. Unless they do testosterone <clears throat> and steroids, and the man does not. Yeah. Even well, then. <laughs> good but, luck. But, you know. God and the universe have, have uh, even things out because they they will do emotional damage to you. So I was thinking we that's that need, classic Dane Cook bit. We need oh, okay, yeah, go go on. Where he's where he's like, um, you know, um, you'll be in a fight with your girlfriend and you'll be winning, and then she'll say, <laughs> just like your father, and you go, <laughs> whatever, fuck you, bitch, and then like three hours later you'll be like. <sighs> What the fuck does that mean? I'm not. What a, my father was a great man. <laughs> this is fuck with you psychologically. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Every, everything's a psychological game. Well, they can't you know, win fuck, with so, strength. So. I was thinking we need we need funding for this podcast. Yeah, I will whore myself out non sexually, Becca, non sexually, to uh, to whomever for whatever. Hear me out. We compete in women's sports. Okay. Oh, it's just, you know, 
Not that I have a problem with. Okay, that's giving me an idea. <laughs> <laughs> what what if instead of us competing because we're not, you know, athletes, we're men, we're strong and we're vibrant and full of vitality and come and all those things. But what if we just started an organization where testosterone and, and steroids were allowed? Like we just make competing sports organizations, but we just don't put any restrictions on performance enhancing drugs. <clears throat> yeah, but I... <sighs> I, I feel like, like baseball, like extreme baseball. I just feel like there's a whole uh, governmental issue that we're... Um, no, I mean, PEDs are, are legal. I'm not aware of. Fuck them. What I was going to say is, you know, since all these sports organizations uh, <sighs> don't care about women and they're letting men compete against women... um. You think we should cash in while the iron is hot? Look, I feel sorry for them, but I also want some money. So, yeah, that's definitely... It's a delicate dance. Let's do it. Let's get some money. Let's compete against women with full full beards. Yeah. We'll do the full beard dance. I don't well, want to... I don't want to... Oh, I don't want to... I'll grow out my chest hair for it, and I'll, I will... Uh, I don't want to... Enter women's boxing. I don't want to bust your bubble. Yeah. But uh, South Park already did an episode about it. Well, you know what they're really doing is I heard they uh, they really make you uh, actually go through with the uh, sex change before you can compete now. Oh, I thought uh, that one swimmer still had her penis. Probably, but there's certain, like certain sports and... Uh, I don't know. I'm, you have to have the surgical procedure to compete I guess as in the sports and field. regulations. So depending on what it is, you have to go through the full sex change and then you have to uh, uh, you have to be on estrogen for a certain amount of time. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the movies like 10 years from now. <laughs> like it's like, you know, because it's the classic like coach, like oh, how they, bad do you want to oh, win? Oh, they, they, <laughs> the inspirational story where we're glorifying this shit. <laughs> Oh, that'd be... How bad do you want it, boy? He's like, but it's my cock, coach. And he's like, <laughs> glory is forever. <laughs> Your cock is temporary. So, okay, I retract everything I just said because <laughs> we don't want to go through the sex change. But how how weird is it? How weird is it that we can be like, um, yeah, cut off our dick and balls. <laughs> and then and then we'll, uh, we'll take estrogen, but we're, we're so... Uh, ahead as far as like the amount of mass and muscle and testosterone we've had yeah. all our lives yeah. we've already got the strength advantage so nothing that I've just done to change myself really matters that that much and then and you know what's crazy about that is even though they're taking estrogen like imagine trying to do strength t- training while taking estrogen you would feel like more muscle fatigue it's like the opposite of t- testosterone and they're like oh man I, I'm so I can't work out as hard now that I'm a woman and it's like they still are dominating women's sports. It's like, that's how far ahead. Yeah. So, you know. So, that was the uh, basis for my joke, Brandon, where we make money off of, <laughs> of Listen, women's we got to cash sport. in on this trans thing before. <laughs> yeah. We cash in on the trans thing and make money off of women's sports because we're better than women. Because we're better than women at the sports. We're the best. We make the best sports. All the women just copy the men's sports. The only... Th- I, listen, I know a lot of guys who make a lot of sports. They, they <laughs> <laughs> The only thing that could go wrong... Which, ironically, South Park also has an episode on. It's whenever Cartman enters the uh, Special Olympics. Uh, and he's like, and he I'm going to fucking loses. beat those retards. Yeah, and he still loses because they're No, still- that really happens, though, is uh, is you get these... Uh, you get these guys... Well, okay, you get these chicks with beards. And um, they enter and they still fucking lose. It does happen. But yeah. It does not happen enough. It does not happen enough to make it you, to make you go. This is okay. You right. know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like if they if they were still placing uh, pretty close to where they were already, then it, it would be different. Uh, and and there's so many there's so many sports besides the whole women's boxing thing that I would probably be like, 
yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> but but then you get a guy in there with a, with a a fucking beard boxing a woman, and you're supposed to feel good about it, like oh sportsmanship. Um, I yeah, that's why I, and that's why this I think is we not should... a knock on the on the trans community. This is really uh, there's a lot of w- women athletes out there that are really just you know fucking pissed off and tired of this shit. Um, just imagine, I, I have no idea what it's like to be a woman. But just imagine. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, imagine women were better than us in 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 uh, emotional damage e- every athletic way. Oh, okay, okay. And now we've got a, a sole solely men's sport, but then they come into it and they fucking dominate. How would you feel? <sighs> yeah, that's right. You'd feel a little cheated. I guess. Yeah. Like again, I. I don't want to keep referring back to um, to South Park, but that was kind of like their whole thing was like they took that trans athlete <clears throat> and then they brought him to a, uh, a women's only um, tabletop gaming club. And all the so throughout the episode, they've set up that the girls are better than the boys at tabletop gaming because they actually like min max their characters and learn the rules better. And they're like. Everybody, they, they all, all the boys get mad because they're like, well, sometimes you just want to be a fucking a pirate or a cowboy or an astronaut, and you guys are over here doing all this fucking math. <laughs> 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 and then so, like, they have the trans athlete going, I'll beat any girl, anywhere, anytime, <laughs> any game. And they take him to the tabletop gaming, and he's like, this is stupid. I just want to be a pirate or a cowboy <laughs> or an astronaut. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I, you know what? Uh, uh, so it's funny as we say, oh, that was already done on South Park, but it's already done in real life, bro. It's like just every every South Park example is like it's legitimately a a parody of real shit. Well, that's why they're good. You know, they're good because they're uh, they're tapping into something that's that's real and they're doing it in a smart way. I think unlike us, we're we're more like uh, we're all. Uh, we're we're trying to do the skill challenge with a strength check, you know what I mean? Trying to do decks with strength. Hey, look, man. Sometimes you just talk about what you like. Yeah. Sometimes you just it's talk okay about be, what you're feeling. It's okay to be a little clumsy with a subject sometimes. Ah, you know, it is what it is. There's no hate in our hearts. No. <laughs> See, we could do this. Yes. We could make up rules and then just change them to fit our inequities. <laughs> knees and my titties <laughs> there's uh there's a new Adam Sandler movie on Netflix and so. if you throw me four on strikes I get an express ticket to first base <laughs> yes yeah, yeah, yeah. it has to be between my knees and my titties knees and my titties uh yeah new Adam Sandler oh, oh. <laughs> do you like my landing strip dude it's getting spicy that's how I do it too man a landing strip yeah, well, sometimes... So, it was just a coincidental. No, right now I don't, but sometimes... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, check it out. Sometimes I do the strip, but then I keep the sideburns. <laughs> so over here... You get like a like a rising sun effect. Look, so I do a strip, and then it's... Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> I like it. Shave your pubes, folks. Make interesting shape. Draw a heart down there. I Who like cares? It. You know, I had, I had other shit to say um, about uh, a really touchy subject opening joke, but... Uh, I've already forgot it. Well, so. we're half an hour in, so I don't think we can keep the beginning where we're just scrolling through the fucking web pages. I we're not. <laughs> there wasn't. No, this one's gonna be there difficult. Was a, to there's edit. a lot of me going. <laughs> can't keep that. I mean, there's, you know, look, I'll figure it out in the editing process. Maybe I'll. Maybe we shouldn't keep the fucking uh, us entering transports jokes because people are too sensitive. You fucking pussies. You know, it's not always about you. And if you get offended by it, do you know what happens when you get offended by something? An angel loses their wings. No, nothing fucking happens. Because it's not all about you. The, the fucking, like, what you believe with your whole heart isn't always fucking right. And, you know, you may never, you may never realize that you're wrong. Mm. So uh, well. And not to say anything about... Uh, it's not saying anything bad about trans people or or whatever. Oh, that's a stinky little cider. Oh, can I have one? Yeah. 
That's just, no. It, pe- people get offended and they want everyone to change their lives and their beliefs and their, and their ways because of things they believe. But, uh, you know. What about the Jews? Oh, there's a little thing called the Crusades. Do you guys remember the fucking Crusades? Where were the Jews in the Crusades? Um, being, Nobody talks about that. Being Jews. Well, the Jews killed a lot of people in their in their <clears throat> conquest for God. Well, so we know the main two players are the um, uh, Muslims and the Christians fighting over the Holy Land of Jerusalem. But isn't there a third faction that we're forgetting about? What was the Jews' role in the Holy Wars? I really don't know. I, 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 I have no... That's a good question. That's man. a third party that where they just like... You just let them fight it out. <laughs> I was once, maybe let I them was fight it out. In, maybe I was once told in high school that no war was ever fought over religion, and I'm like, fucking every war. What about the holy wars? Like every fucking war. Well, not the Iraq war. That was fought over oil. That wasn't about religion. But what did they tell us? They told us because of their religion. Did they say that? Because Jesus because Christ. of because of their beliefs, they would suicide bomb us. Well, you know, that, you know, because of their beliefs, they would blow us up because they believed they would be met with 40 virgins in the afterlife. What about they, the, they what literally? About, yes. What our end goal was their resources. Right. But what they sold to us is that their beliefs, their religion, they believed this. And that's why they did such evil. I don't know why I'm talking well, like this. Well, that, that's John Stewart. No, no. Listen, that's that's what they fucking said. Yes, it was religion versus religion. That's what they turned it into. Yes. Well, but, absolutely. So, 100%. No, well, I, I don't disagree with they that. Didn't say, they didn't say, hey, they got they got fucking oil. Let's go get their oil. No, they said, hey, these motherfuckers, um, they believe that if they blow themselves up, they get 40 virgins. Right. And that's their religion. So what does that do? If you say their religion believes this crazy batshit stuff, what does that do? It's my religion versus their religion. That's what it fucking does. So, yeah. Uh yeah, I, so he's a, he was a high school grammar teacher. No relig- no war was ever fought over religion. I'm was like, it Brooks? Yes, it was fucking Brooks. <laughs> every war! Every fucking war! Well, specifically the Holy Wars is a good... I mean, it's literally called the Holy Wars. But, <clears throat> I mean, um, uh, what about the Ukraine war? That's not really religion. Mm, the religion of... Not Co- being r- Ukrainian. <laughs> <laughs> no, Fuck these Ukrainians. I was gonna say, what I was going to say is that their religion was uranium <laughs> and and being hard, <laughs> being hard as fuck, dog. Hard as cold steel. Yeah, dude. No, okay. I won't go as far as every war. Been a lot of wars. Uh, the Nazis were into the occult, and what is the occult if not a religion? It's esoteric religion. Thank you, Brandon. Nope. You're welcome, Zach. <laughs> Dude, I don't like your fucking tone just, when you're coming at me like that. I'm just matching tone. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, no. whoa, what is that? Shut, just shut the fuck up. What is that? You know what that is, Look, dude. I show you my fucking my landing strip, and all of a sudden we're getting Check hostile. <laughs> Penis. <laughs> dude, yours is, look, look, look at mine. Dude, that's awesome. They didn't finish your foreskin removal. I know. I'm, like my They just did half your foreskin and they're like, keep it. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, if we do any more, we'll just cut it off. I d I don't I, I don't know. I, like I said, we've had this conversation many times before. <laughs> I wish I had my foreskin still. What? And, and maybe it's because my circumcision was so bad. What? If you think the top looks bad, dude. If you think the top looks bad, look at the bottom. Okay, I'm looking. <laughs> Sorry, it's nervous. It's cold in here. My hands are cold. Okay. Yep. Look, it's all uneven. I can't see, Brandon. I don't know what. You... God damn. Oh, you're talking about that loose skin? Well, that can't be there when it's hard. It is. Well, here, let's get it hard. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking things just running away from me. <laughs> like trying to grab onto it, and Zach's just like, What are you, are you, are you jacking off in front of me? <laughs> it's like, you're No, bit, no, dude, I'm trying to show you something. It's not gay. It's your bit to to ejaculate in front of me. <laughs> uh, no, I just had this conversation at work uh, like a month ago where uh, 
I I have uh, I have four kids and two of them are boys and I've had both my boys circumcised. No, now, 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 it, now. It, was it a good circumcision? I mean, I don't want to talk about my my I know my kids I circumcisions, know. but yeah. But here's what I'm saying. Have you seen that video? I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> have you seen that video of the so in Africa Christianity is still having like a not a resurgence, but like it's still being yeah, yeah. Uh, still adopted in African countries. And so part of the covenant is circumcision. And even though like, what? I have seen a video of a full grown adult African male getting his penis circumcised with a straight razor knife. And he just stands there and takes it like a champ. Like he just crosses his arms. And then there's a guy with a fucking straight razor, and he just cuts off his foreskin. And then he's just got a, like a, I mean, it looks really good, actually. To I mean, not, all, in you know, in all fairness, it looks very clean. But, why not just wait for us to do that? Hmm. Well, here's why. <laughs> because it's really painful. Uh-huh. And people won't, wouldn't do it. And some people say it's the most painful thing they've ever experienced in their life. And there's a lot of problems with keeping the foreskin. Um, like phimosis? Well, some people say like... The hardening of the here's foreskin? Here's what the people with the foreskin say. They say, oh, it feels better. Oh, it feels better. Like, uh, yeah, it also probably. fucking stinks. Like, when you walk in a room and people can smell your dick, that's a problem. Well, you, just wash it. I wash my dick every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have to... You, it's like... It's like um, Really, some re- people don't wear deodorant. Well, it's and like you're expecting them yes, to fucking pull yes, the foreskin yes. back, and, and it's like really, really fat people who have to pull up every fold and wash. I, I get it. I get it. I just I I so in the my smegma, particular case, the smegma. It's so you get a lot of infections when you keep the foreskin. I, I just doesn't make sense because why would the penis evolve that way? So this alien came down after they've bred the humans, the ruler of Benthos. So they've genetically engineered humans and they said, hey, this is something we overlooked because all these people's penises are getting infected and they're dying or their dicks are falling off. You squeeze it and then the like lubricant comes out. (laughs) (laughs) Like, fuck, we forgot to put that into the DNA. No, 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 it self cleans. Like, no, it doesn't. No, no. It gets filled with dirt. It it gets infected and it falls off. It turns black and it falls (laughs) off. So then, what do you mean their dicks are falling off in the gold mines? <laughs> so then your alien overlords were like, oh, well, we can just fix this. You just cut that flap of skin off and there's nothing to collect <laughs> the dirt. And everybody's and, just like, oh, oh. <laughs> and then they realize like, oh, so we should do this when they're babies and they can't really. <laughs> so here's the deal. It, it, it hurts the babies, but barely. Literally, both my boys... Um, uh, did they do the the banding method, or they, did they do the the machine with the? It's they didn't do the Jewish guillotine bullshit. <laughs> uh, no, so Jewish so guillotine. So my oldest d- didn't make a noise. Apparently, uh, Chunk made a. He was little, like, I don't need that. Chunk made a little bit of noise, but they don't really like. They don't really whine. At least my kids didn't like. When you're wiping them, they want you to really make sure you clean around that to make sure there's no infections. And in, in some cases, they'll have you put some ointment on there. But really, uh, in, in like a fucking week, it's it's done. There's no fucking issues. I just I just hear these horror stories, specifically the, the one about John Money, because they used to cauterize the foreskin off. Yes, and how stupid was that? Because they burned off an entire penis. Yeah. Because they were fucking idiots. Yeah. No, um, yeah, that's terrible, but I- I'm still an advocate for that because all these people going like, well, they didn't give me a choice, and if I had a choice, I would have said don't circumcise me. No, I'm sitting here going like, I don't care. Like, I'm kind of glad. I, I'm glad I don't have the extra work. I wish I, wish I had got the choice. I probably would have still opted for circumcision, yeah. but I wish I could have just waited d- till later. D- dude, but out of all the bullshit you have in your life... That's one more thing you have maintenance on now. Yeah. And so now I'm sitting here going like, I'm glad I never even had to worry about that. Yeah. It has not affected my sex life. Uh, My penis looks great. Um, uh, (laughs) Sex feels great. Um, I don't have to sit there and and clean around the head of my penis fucking daily. And I don't have to worry about if my dick fucking smells or tastes bad. It just tastes like a fucking dick. It tastes like skin. (laughs) How do you know? 
you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm a contortionist. <laughs> yeah, dude, but... Is that why you have that arch in your spine? <laughs> yep. <clears throat> no. I, yep. I, I don't think it's a big... I think, I honestly think that uh, if this topic ever gets brought up to to my kids and they're like well don't you feel like you should have had a choice they were like why the fuck would i have wanted to do this when i was an adult that would be so fucking painful my penis is fine it's a penis i think this is i think this is our biggest point of contention in our in our friendship like we're pretty on point for most issues like maybe we have small disagreements here and there but like this is the one thing where and and i see your point I, i really do like i get it like it it aesthetically looks better it it helps with uh, clean, I, I clean, under, cleanliness and hygiene. I understand letting uh, letting people make choices. I understand that, but then there's also things that you do for your your children that they don't have to understand. It's that like you, vaccinations that you've done for their benefit. Yeah, the, you, there's things you do for your children that you know whether they understand it or agree with it. Going to the dentist, even when they're older, there's things you do for them. They don't have to understand, but you're doing it for their benefit. And yeah. I and I feel that by getting my kids circumcised, I've done them a favor. Yeah. But we don't do female circumcision in this country. Yeah. They if, do that. If in, they got the extra meat, they got to keep it. So, not that, I mean, but maybe we make that free too or whatever. The, I don't know if they, circumcision is uh, free. It, I, I think it depends on where you're having your baby because i think if there's any like extra skin going on the doctor will be like do you want me to fucking hey you want me to clean that up down there and you're like why are you looking at her they're like well this might be a fucking problem when they're older you know i don't fucking know like clean it up jesus christ doc like oh oh so i can cut your your son's stick skin off but your your daughter's got some fucking roast beef down there and now all suddenly it's i'm the bad guy i think that actually might be a thing if there's like too much shit going on down there they will they will clean it up for sure but there's also they there's also like um some chicks just got some some fat meaty pussies what about and um, they can get that shit cleaned up in adulthood (laughs) what what about um some guys like the fat meaty pussies i'm totally i'm totally serious okay serious what about i'm 100 percent serious what about true hermaphrodite? <laughs> Do you get a circumcision on their tiny little dick? So let's just pretend that uh, I know what that is, but nobody, uh, the audience doesn't. So explain it to me. So you're talking about cock and some, vagina. Yeah. Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes there's a genetic deformity in the yeah. vagina. No, no, no. That's not a deformity. That's perfectly natural. But. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at that. You fuck. That's fucked up, dude. Hundred no. percent serious. No, this is okay. Go on. Sometimes there's a genetic deformity in the clitoris mm-hmm. where it grows into a little dick. Yeah. Get them circumcised. Do you get it circumcised? Yeah. It's not going to affect the size. It's going to one hundred percent make it better for them when they're getting fucked and their dick sucked. <laughs> <laughs> there's the reverse sixty nine with someone and getting fucked from behind. Doggy style, it's one hundred percent gonna make their life better. Now, on a completely unrelated note, have you seen China's sex tape? <laughs> yeah, dude. That's what I asked you that in in a past episode. Yeah, dude. Her clit was only big because she did steroids. I know, but that's the the begs the question is like, why was it circumcised? Why was your clit circumcised, China? What's going on there? Her clit was circumcised. I think so. No, Wait, shut, they up. Research shut up. Shut up, Brandon. Google you stupid it. fuck. <laughs> you stupid piece of shit. You having the dumbest fucking conversations with me tonight. You piece of hold on, I, I haven't tried this. I'm gonna try this woodchuck hard cider. Five percent alcohol, twelve fluid ounces. Let's get this in here. We should shotgun one. No. 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 Mm, no, that's all. I don't care about Kim Kardashian's sex day. Mm. China's new promo. <laughs> no, here. Let me let me do it. You're doing it wrong. Oh, here we go. Backdoor China. Yeah, there you go. This is this her? Yep. Eh, that doesn't look that big. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> this is gay, dude. <laughs> no, it looks fine there. Yeah, see? Yeah, never mind. Yeah, you talking, I, I, I all, you're talking all this being, shit. I remembered it being way bigger. 
No, no, no. But remember that uh, Clerks Two joke about um, Dante's fiance having a a giant Clint, uh, Clint, a giant Clint. <laughs> Clint Eastwood's down there. Like, I know what you're thinking. Did I come? A, did I? Did I come? A? Do you feel lucky? <laughs> did I come? Do you once? feel? Do you feel lucky, punk? Or no times? Well, <laughs> yeah, you gotta ask yourself. You're like. <laughs> Shut up, vagina. Stop he's talking like, to me. Uh, she's like, she's talking to Randall, calls her out on it, and she looks at Dante. And she's like, You just had to tell him, didn't you? And he goes, He says it's so big, it might as well be a tiny cock. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's just a win win for me. <laughs> oh, fuck. I love Kevin Smith. I get, to, I get to repress my gay urges and still be straight and suck a cock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I lost my voice. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Fucking shit, dude. Listen, okay. Let's change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh let's I'm, let's get some more let's get some more uh okay. walls up in here. I wanna get like a ceiling. I'm learning so much of my new job, like all this construction knowledge. Let's let's frame some walls up. Let's get these insulation put up at like an actual wall we can use pvc be cheaper on uh-huh. lumber yeah we could build we could build a really nice set we can even do recordings like recording sessions in here um i just i want to deliver the best product to the to our viewers as possible yeah man that's like uh that should be the that should be the bare minimum is we just want to do the best and yet, you know, some people, some people don't want that. Yeah, some fucking people want to see us fail. They think this is just a fucking, it's a fucking joke. You know what I'm sick of? Um, Mary, Kate, and Ashley. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> and I, not in the way you would say in the early 2000s. Fuck them like <clears throat> yesterday's garbage. I'm sick of going to work every day. Um, for a job you don't like, for shit I don't. We would, we would still have to go to work every day. Well, for shit that I don't want to do. Uh, sorry. Yeah. So when you know people ask you, what do you want to do for a living? And if someone tells you shit like, I want to uh, be an astronaut. No, I'm going to school to be a doctor. I'm going to go, I'm going to school to be a teacher. I'm going to school to uh, be a lawyer. Uh, yeah. So people people say that shit, and they're like, I'm gonna I'm gonna go be a nurse, I'm gonna, you know, whatever. And you get into a uh, lifelong student debt, blah blah blah. Everyone's like, oh, that's so awesome. And then they're like, hey, have you figured out what you want to do with your life? And you're like, I want to be an entertainer. I want to um, I want to create stuff. I wanna I want to make. I want to I want to do a podcast where I talk for a living. I want to make music. I want to do um I want to act. I want I want to be an actor. And, and what and, is everybody's immediate reaction? And they're just like, "Oh, you need to get a real job." But you got to you like, "Yeah, but you should find something to fall back on." Yeah, you can um, do that in your spare time, but uh, Like that's just like a fun time hobby. You need to find something where you can make real money. Um yeah, that's not a real jo- like you got to find you got to find Here's what pisses me off. In elementary school, they they would pass out those papers would be like, um, okay, who wants to be a musician? Raise your hand. And you'd be like, okay, me. And then they'd fill a board with like what you want to be when you grow up. And it would be. And then at the it, end, they'd write losers and winners. Well, it would be. <laughs> they no, draw a line between the job so categories. It would, be, it would be. They'd take a picture of your face and they'd, they'd glue it onto the like cartoony picture. I remember one year. I think I raised my hand to be an astronaut because what kid doesn't want to be an astronaut? It was a cool, it was a hot profession. I distinctly remember raising my hand to be a musician the next year. And I had my, I was on the board with my face on the little musician cartoon character. Um, but, but shit like that, like you tell people you want to do that and they're like, well, you should get a real job. It's not a real job. Uh, you, uh, and these same motherfuckers are subscribed to Netflix and they get on their fucking YouTubes and their fucking Spotify's and they listen to music and they watch movies. And it's like, who do you think fucking makes that? Are you so fucking stupid? Your brain's so fucking small. You can't comprehend this shit. 
I'm really like, yeah, man, I, I have not, uh, we have not perfected the art of monetizing being creative. There is a, um, you know, you look at some people who are successful, um, by, uh, societal standards, I guess you could say, and you realize that they're really not that good, I guess you could say. I'm not to pass judgment. Everybody likes something different, but what they are, what they are good at is, uh, the business side of the industry. So it's like, you know, sometimes the most popular artists aren't the best artists where it's maybe in time past and and maybe it's just because it's lost the time. And the longer that I am alive, the more I realize that there are so many things that are so niche to a particular time period that it's really impossible to look back on something and go, oh, well, yeah, that's how this was because that's what the textbooks or news articles or anything tells like like i'll read a news article about something that i know uh, on a personal level and i'll go that's not at all what the situation was uh like a a co-worker of mine uh, got into an accident and then his accident was reported in the newspaper and he was reading it and they got all the details wrong but if you look at the historical record 50 years from now and you want to look at that particular accident on that particular day, you all you have to go by, uh, assuming he doesn't do any you know personal interviews about that subject, which a lot of the stuff that's in the past, it's, you know, it's day-to-day stuff. So it's like, how would you really know what is going on uh, w- without the first-hand accounts? I mean, it's, it's going to go, it's going to fall back on like newspaper articles or biographies or any kind of um, research media that goes on on that subject. So, oh, I've lost my train of thought. What were we talking about? Yeah. (laughs) Mm. This is good. That's embarrassing. This is good. No, we can cut this part out. That's called editing, Brandon. (laughs) Uh... Uh, no, uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 sometimes like the best actors. And that's I kind of got off on a tangent there, but like sometimes the best like musicians of the time, like maybe Bob Dylan wasn't the best of all time. Maybe it was some guy who didn't have the business sense that Bob Dylan did, or Bob Dylan's managers did, who was making yeah. better songs than Bob Dylan. Yeah, I would, but, gi- I would give more credit to to managers. And a I- lot of the times, yeah, because it's like you know, an artist is. Some, you know, obviously the best artists probably aren't going to be <clears throat> great business. Look people. at Elvis, who got fucked over by his manager. Right, like great artist, maybe not the best songwriter, maybe not the best Fact. musician, but like just used everybody else's songs. But his manager didn't want him to do basically anything that would have Elvis already super famous. Anything that would have made him more money or made him more super famous, basically didn't want him to do. But. Because, uh, you know, you know who could have been in the movie Grease? Uh, a little guy called Elvis. You know what his manager fucking told him? No, don't do that. Fuck that. No. Yeah. And then he got him like fucking 20 shitty movie roles. Yeah. The shittiest movie roles you've ever fucking seen. I've got a couple of Elvis movies on DVD. Uh, and there's only a couple of good ones. And they're mostly just shitty. Well, and that's that's one of those things where it's like, it goes back to... And I'm susceptible to it as well. But, like, how do we get most of our media nowadays? It's, like, just scrolling, you know? Most people don't look specifically for something and then sit down and listen or watch or read whatever that thing is. They just, you see an article in your feed presented to you by an algorithm based on your likes and interests. And then you learn more about stuff that way. But it's, like, you know... I don't, I don't even remember what the old method was. I mean, maybe there was more control then because now people can have more niche interests. Like you can have whole groups of D and D, whereas before it was more niche and you kind of had to like know people who were also into D and D, and then you had to find a group of friends, friends, and then maybe their interest 
they would go, oh, you like D&D? I, I also like this. And then that would turn you on to that. And that becomes these sub-genres of niche interest. Um, whereas now all that stuff is kind of just fed to you. So, I mean, and I guess in a way, the old method was still fed to you because it's you can't know what you don't know. And somebody who knows something you don't has to present that to you in, in a way that is feeding that information to you. But <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like it's still... Uh, there, there's a little bit of algorithm. There's still word of mouth. Um, yeah, true. And word of, mouth, word of mouth can change your whole algorithm. Like if you get really into a certain true, subject man. that you haven't heard of, and then suddenly maybe you stumble down a Reddit, or a Reddit rabbit hole. Yeah, and, and then, suddenly you're into yeah, word, you, woodworking. You're like, I didn't even like woodworking. You get a lot of recommend a lot of recommendations. End up at woodworking. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you were just trying to figure out how to jack your dick better, so. Well, uh, we're coming up on an hour here, and uh, you know what? This might be a shorter episode. I don't, I don't, I don't know if the. It might not even be an episode. This might have just been a practice run. Yeah, because I don't. I'll listen to it. Maybe you're, maybe you're hearing this. Maybe you're not. But um, I think there's only one way to end an episode like this. And that's for me to shotgun a beer. Lachayim. <laughs> he did it, folks. Oh, my God. Well, Brandon's going to be going home and taking a shower and changing his <laughs> <sighs> Well, thanks, man. Uh, it's fucking uh, it's fucking got it all over me how do you uh, feel that's, that's so cold that's five percent alcohol my man that's fine I th- it really doesn't really work for an audio podcast no no <laughs> but that, i'm so glad you did it <laughs> i'm just... not gonna lie man i had like a start and finish for this and i didn't re- realize we were the, the, the i didn't realize we were recording for so long. I've forgotten everything, so. I think I spilled most of that on my pants. No. Do you have a camera? Mm-hmm. Take a picture of my clock. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. It's being a dick. Hold on. Just give me one second. Oh, I see trees in green. Red roses too. I see a world. <sighs> Made for me and you. But I think to myself. What a wonderful world. I'm sorry, dude. My phone sucks dicks. Okay. What? It's not going to let me. It says not enough storage. I'm trying. Okay, well, anyways, uh, there's a big mess on my pants. I'm going to go out Zach's garage door. There's uh, beer everywhere. It's on, it's on the computer. It's on the table. It's on Zach. It's on me. Uh, that was a bad idea. I feel bad. And um, I don't know. I, I, I said maybe. It'll taste better covered in gravy. Because after all. Because after all. You're a butterball. I want to run. Through a field of. Burning bodies. I want to scream. I want to bathe in the blood of my enemy. So if you think that you're better than me, why don't you just try it and see? I've got nothing to wait for. I've got nothing but hate for you So why don't you just
just try it and see.